So why mustard? What what's unique about mustard? Why don't I use something else? How does the mustard work? It irritates their skin. Just like if you were to bite into a nice big fat jalapeno, you would go, ah! Because it irritates the skin. Mustard is very irritating to the earthworm's skin. So when the liquid percolates down into the soil and the forest floor, the worms don't like it, and to escape it, they'll go up, generally. Night crawlers sometimes will go down or up, but in general, they'll move away from this liquid and usually they come up so you can then collect them and preserve them and take them back to the lab to identify them. Why does the organic mustard not work as well? Yeah, the, the mustard plant that they use to create organic mustard powder is a different variety than is the non-organic. And the organic one just doesn't have as much oomph, and so it doesn't work. And a colleague of mine spent a great deal of time studying all the condiments, ginger, garlic, uh, all the different chili peppers, uh, etc., different things, and he found that mustard worked the best. It biodegrades. You can come back to the place you sampled today, tomorrow, and you'll see worms in that plot again. So it has, we, do, we really feel confident that it doesn't have any long-lasting, non-target effects on the soil. So it's a good sampling technique for that reason. The other piece is that we do, I haven't really mentioned this a lot, we do a lot of this with citizen scientists, including kids. And so it's really, really important that if you're involving citizen scientists, and especially kids in your research, that you use techniques that are safe and effective. So the mustard works really, really well, and it's very effective, and it's a good thing for uh, citizen science groups and students to work with.